kind of looks like I am finishing up here in Osgiliath, maybe, I don't know. But the next step in my adventure is to do the instances here. There are three instances in Osgiliath. I believe two of them are three-man instances, and the final one is a six-man instance. And so what I am going to be doing is I'm going to be trying to solo this. I'm going to be trying to solo the three-man instances. Now, I know that you can set up the instance at any level between 50 and whatever level you are. The level cap. So, I don't know. I think probably what I'll do is a little bit of editing. I might have to practice a few times, but I'm hoping to do this on level with the tier 2 challenge solo. That might be very ambitious. I don't know. It's probably possible, but I don't think I'm skilled enough at this point to do it. My gear is not the best. So that's why I'm going to edit is because I'm going to try a few runs of this and see what my capabilities are. If I can really do it on level at tier 2 challenge or if I'm going to have to figure something else out. But I think that's enough rambling for now. Let me pull up the instances here. And let's see. Not a Numinous. Not Dull Goldur. Not Fornos. Not the Great Barrel. Helligrod. In their absence. Here we go. Osculius. So we're doing the Sunken Labyrinth. Okay. There it is. Well. Wait a minute. This is not what I wanted. I want to be able to... Oh, there it is. This is where I change it. Let me cancel it. So, yeah, let me do tier 2. Let me do my own level here. Uh, yeah. Launch now. Your search for Faramir leads you to the subterranean tunnels under Osgiliath, where he may have fled to escape an enraged fell beast. Shed light on the ranger's disappearance by delving into the darkness. Alright, so I'm going to try this. We'll do some editing. So you might see my experience bar here move up. Because like I said, I'm just going to play around in that instance and figure out how much I can do. And then go from there. Your search for Faramir leads you to the subterranean tunnels under Osgiliath. Where he may have fled to escape an enraged fell beast. Shed light on the ranger's disappearance by delving into the darkness. So after playing around a little bit in here, I learned two things. Number one, I suck. I'm not a good warden. So there's no way that I can do this on level at tier two right now. I think it is possible for a skilled warden that's well geared. That's certainly not me at this point. I could take a lot of time to make that happen. But in the interest of keeping the series going, I just want to get this done so that I can continue recording for you guys. And then number two is you actually can't even do the tier two challenge unless you're doing it at the max available level. So even if I did this at my level at tier two, I still wouldn't get the tier two challenge quest. So I am going to have to come back to these instances once I am max level. And that's true for some of the instances I have already previously done as well. So what I decided to do is to do this at tier one at level 103 which is low enough to where hopefully I am able to do it solo, but also high enough to where the enemies are green and the quest is green and not gray. So I think even like this, this is going to be extremely challenging for me. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but I'm certainly going to try. Let me pop a couple things here. I have all these items piling up, so might as well use them. And then, yeah, let me use... Well, I don't know if I want to use that... Finesse rating last six hours? Okay, why not? Tome of Defense. Might as well use that. All right, there you go. So let's go ahead and do it. Open up the lever here. And yeah, let's see what happens. The Rangers warned of foul creatures lurking within the tunnels. All right, yeah, this is much better than on level at tier two. I was getting absolutely demolished in every way imaginable. It was actually quite embarrassing. Put a bleed on those rats. I'll let them bleed out. Why not? Yeah, I think this is doable. So this is a vase. An unbroken relic from the second age of Osgiliath. What is this? Is this a deed? Well, let me grab it. If 
found a Gondorian relic. I don't know what this is for. I have no idea what that was for. No deed popped up or anything. Whatever. So I have to clear all of this place. Get rid of some of these debuffs. Because I'm going to have to push these levers, but... You know, this is supposed to be... Man, that is a juicy debuff. I'm supposed to do this as a three-person group, right? So everybody's supposed to be at a lever and you pull them together to open the way forward. But since I buy my, I'm by myself, I'm going to have to open all three levers. And it's kind of tight. There's a time limit on it. So that's why I want to clear everything. And then go for it. Let me kind of explore here. Yeah, these vases. I really don't know what they're for. But I'm going to grab them. I mean, surely they are for a deed, right? Eastern Gondor. Western Osculeth. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. Let me actually do what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, so let me get my forced march on. I'm going to need all the help I can get. The sounds of chains notch their way through some sort of hidden mechanism. I have to go all the way to the other side. Oh, you know what? I forgot to clear this central area here. That's okay. I think I'll probably just pull the lever and make a run for it. Oh, I went the wrong way. I don't think I'm going to have enough time. I went the wrong way. It's supposed to be this way. Dang it. Yeah, so here's the second lever, and then the one down the middle, but I think by going the wrong way there, I didn't give myself enough time, so... Probably gonna have to redo that whole thing. Have to use that lever. Okay, so I made it in time, I'm just gonna have to run in here before it closes. See, you see how it closes pretty quickly after I came in here? So that's the, that's the deal with that. And then there are other levers here and I really don't know which ways to go. That opened up that way. Let me just look at the map and make sure I know where I came from. Or, oh, I see this opens, um, I need to go forward. Yeah. This is where I need to go. There you go. Let me see about this face. Memories of the Second Age. That's what that's for. Now, I couldn't find exactly where that deed is. The sounds of organized orcs echo ahead. Oh, wow. Something did a lot of damage to me. Yeah, man. These did a lot of damage. I'm gonna have to be a little bit more careful. I, I haven't really been playing very well. And honestly, I'm still a little uncoordinated with my new Gambit rotations since the Warden update. So we'll just have to see how this goes. I'm definitely not feeling comfortable. I'll say that much. But I can only try my best, right?
Let me wait for all of these to group up so I can AoE them. That one did not take damage. It wasn't close enough. Alright, so I see a little vase there. This water looks a little fishy, though. Alright, I'm not taking damage in here. That's good. Okay. Yeah, hopefully I found the right balance between challenge and just being able to get this done without getting stuck on, on it. So, hope you guys can appreciate that. Again, I will come back to this once I'm max level for the tier 2 challenges. I couldn't do it even if I wanted to right now. Just because it's not possible. For the tier 2 challenge quest to pop up, it has to be done at the max level. Stand your ground. Alright, so there are definitely some beefers here. The archers are kind of what I'm worried about. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a battle preparation. And then I'm going to go in with my exaltation of battle. And that's going to at least start me off with a lot of heals. Oh, unless I get stunned. Oh, I got fear. I am running. Okay, this is not good. This is definitely not good. Yeah, this is fear. I can't help it. My character is automatically running. And am I am I rooted? No, okay. Yeah, that was uh that was very sloppy. I'm very worried. I'm not playing well at all, and I haven't even made it to like a little boss yet. So we'll see how this goes. So, yeah, the, the gambit I need to remember is going to be Exaltation of Battle. That is C4, C8, 3. So, yeah, my C4, my C8, and then a 3, and then I can pop that off. That's good. What, what that gambit does, in case you don't know, is it hits all the targets in front of you and puts a damage over time on them. That also heals you. Oh, and I got some archers over there. Let me... Let me do this. Let me... How are they hitting me from over there? That's dumb. Oh, they're here. Okay. Uh, golly. Ah, okay. Oh, this is so bad. I am playing horrible. What am I doing? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. That was terrible. I was trying to switch back to my melee stance and I couldn't find it on my taskbar, so I was trying to do it. Oh my god. What? A, just an absolute unmitigated disaster. I'm sorry, guys. That was embarrassing. And now this thing is closed? Really? Well, I think I opened the gate from this side, so... I knew this was going to be an embarrassing episode. I just knew it. I'm not going to die again, I promise. That was... I just got a little flustered on that one. I got this. Yeah, I got stuck in that range stance, and that's kind of what threw me off. I couldn't find how to go back to melee on my task. Because I recently changed the location of all these with the new Warden update, so I'm, I'm used to this being, like, over here, but... Alright. Let me just... Ah, oh, the freaking archer, man. See, but now I know better. I know better than to go back, because, yep, he's going to chase me. There you go. There's that exaltation of battle. Gives me a little bit of healing, a little bit of a dot on them. 
Let me do my first aid, kind of heal up all this stuff. And wait for these slugs to come in. And there are a bunch of them. Okay. Nice. Man, there are so many, like, diseases and all these other weird things here. I think the first boss is here somewhere. Maybe. I also gotta look for these vases. Ah, he fears and stuns. That's not good. Especially if he fears me into other enemies. Wow, that's so annoying, man. I gotta watch out for these trolls. Okay. Get this face here. Make sure I didn't miss a vase on any other side. There's a lever up there. Our leader will be pleased by this bounty of corpses. Man, they do damage. Look at all that damage that's coming in on me. Golly, they put like a debuff on me that is absolutely just wrecking me. Gotta be careful. Okay, so there's a defiler. The heaver is what's a problem because he puts that fear on you and then he stuns you, so. Let me wait for my health to catch back up a little bit. Let me eat one of these, why not? What is this thing? Item wear reduction? Why not? I'll use that. Okay. And then, yeah, let me do a battle preparation. And then I can just start out with the exaltation of battle. Ah, stunned. And I got the fear. I hate this fear. I can't do anything. I'm just taking all this damage. Ah. I can do this. All right, I'm going to fast forward back there. Alright, so I got that little guy. I got the defiler. Alright, let's go. God, I am lagging too. I really am. I know it sounds like an excuse, but... Oh yeah, this is definite lag. It's about like a half a second between my, my gambit and my execution. So that kind of threw off all of my gambits. Alright, let me see if there are any vases here. Yeah, I am- I'm very worried. Because <laughs> I'm not doing well, and I haven't even fought a boss yet, so... I don't know, we'll have to see what happens. We will have to see what happens. Let me get this little rat that's coming in. Oh, never mind. Alright, let me do... Let me do this. And we'll go in there. And I couldn't get it off! God, the little induction. Now I got the fear. God. I'm getting so frustrated with the fear. Need to heal this. Oh, 
Gonna do another exaltation here. There we go. Alright, that went better. I just need to not panic when I get feared, you know? It happens. You just gotta be prepared for it. It's nice to get that exaltation of battle off, though, so at least you're healing while you're being feared. Alright, let me go this way first, I guess. Why not? Come on, it's the perfect spot for a vase, but there's no vase here. I'm gonna go this way. Need to use my first aid more aggressively because there's just so much fear and disease here. A little rat puts this thing on you too where you get more incoming damage to you. Which actually does a ton of damage. Alright, let me get this vase. Dorian relics, huh? Okay. Actually, you know what? I think that... Well, I thought that there was a... I thought there was gonna be a journal here for the actual quest. Let me see something. Okay, well... Never mind. Got these guys. All right, let's fight. Let's fight, gentlemen. All right, let me use the lever here. And see what we got going on ahead. Something large stalks the ruined halls that lay ahead. So I think I'm coming up to the first boss battle here, which is... Oh yeah, there he is. 600,000 HP, which is not terrible by itself. Now with ads, it could be a problem. We will see. I think I can definitely do it. I think I can definitely do it, but I am nervous. I am I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. So I'm assuming this gate will open once I defeat the little mini-boss. Nothing here. I'm just looking for vases, items, anything that I can interact with. Oh yeah, there's a vase right there. There's also the boss. Interesting. He's just kind of roaming around in here. There you go. I found the Gondorian relic and that was it, I guess. So it was a deed. Memories of the Second Age for Ashes of Osgiliath. Okay, so it was under instances. Okay. Very good. So it looks like there's nothing else here besides this guy. So, uh... I guess let's go for it. I want to try to figure out my strategy here. I bet he's going to fear me right away. So... Yeah, let me start with that Exaltation of Battle. That's quickly becoming one of my favorite gambits. What are you doing in my lair? Orcs, I need help. Oh, he's calling in reinforcements. Oh, 
lab member was a fool's game. Now I am in charge down here. Ah, stunned. At least he's bleeding a little bit. Nice. Got him down. That was not so bad. So I think there's a chest here. There are more orcs coming in. And I got an orc slayer deed. So I'm still in combat. It's an orc up there. Let me just go try to kill it because I don't want to be stuck in combat. It's kind of annoying. There he is. Hello, sir. Welcome to the party. You're late. So there's some rubble here. You constructed a crude barrier to block the tunnel passage. I don't know what that was for. But I feel like... I don't know. Was that the way forward? There's rubble that way. Where's a chest? I'm supposed to get a chest as well, aren't I? I wonder if this is for the actual mini boss, so the ads don't come out. When you're fighting that boss, you can have other members of the group use that rubble to block the passage and prevent ads from coming in. I think that's what that is. Alright, so there's my small chest. Let me see what kind of awful rewards I got. I can hear them coming our way. Yeah, there's that rubble. Okay, so I got all that. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a journal somewhere in here for the quest. Not for the instance itself, but for the actual quest. The Sunken Labyrinth. Alright, let me fight these bad boys. Gotta hate archers! How am I taking this much damage? Ah, Lee. Crazy. I'm gonna wait a little bit before I fight those guys or I'm just gonna die. While I'm waiting for that, let me go here. Yes, yeah, so, so there's some more rubble, but on the other side of this wall. Yeah, you can't actually go in those. Okay. Just wanted to make sure it wasn't anything, because I swear there's supposed to be a journal in here. I did do a little bit of reading as to, like, how the instance works a little bit, so I'm not coming in here completely blind. And it did mention something about a journal. So, I don't know. Alright, let me do this. Okay, there you go. Oh, so there are levers here, and... I think you gotta pull them in a the right order. So it's three... 
Re one. Oh man. Nope, that gave me a monster. Oh, and I got like these terrible diseases on me. Three, two. Okay. Okay, I'm out of here. Kill a couple more rats here. Let me go this way first. Looks like I have to open that gate. I am just a little concerned. That it's not going to count towards this. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Let me just finish the instance and then we'll figure it out from there. Oh, you know what? I wonder if the lever's outside. Oh, here we go. You have found only an emptied campsite with a note left behind. So there you go. There's the little journal, I guess, that I was looking for. See, I wasn't going crazy. Mysterious notes. The note is hastily written and swiftly descends into madness and incoherence. Search further in the depths of Asgiliath. Man, I'm having fun in the instance. It's actually fun. A hunched figure ahead of you runs away as they spot you. Interesting. The mysterious figure vanished in the shadows. Ah, okay, so here's the lever. Before you stands the stronghold of the Underhost. Stand your ground. Alright, so there's gonna be a lot of monsters here. I want to try to... Oh, no, the, the the archers follow the troll. And there it goes, the fear. Nothing I can do about it. Can't panic. Just got to deal with it. He stunned the hell out of me. God. Had to use my surety at death there. Not good, because I was hoping to save that for the final boss, but I did not want to die again. That was sloppy. I messed up one of my gambits. I don't know if you, if you guys saw that. Immediately after my fear ran out, I messed up one of the gambits, and that's ultimately what put me in trouble. Otherwise, I would have gotten another big healing gambit off, and I would have been fine, but my execution was poor. That's all that. And I think that'll open up to the end there. Oh, you know what? I think that's the door to the final boss. So let me check these side areas first. Oh, there's a vase, but I don't need any more vases, actually. Done with those. Okay. So, let me do this. And we're gonna go in there. Very good. 
And so, I believe this is the final boss. Now, his whole shtick is that he basically sets the floor on fire. And that's not good. Apparently, that does a ridiculous amount of damage very quickly to you. So, I don't want to deal with that. Uh, let me eat one of these. How much HP does he have? I can't see yet. He's got 684,000. That's not too, too bad. That's pretty decent. Let me go in there. What gives you the right to enter my keep? To enter the keep of the Underhost. I am Muzgosh, leader of this great secret army of Sauron. I forged this command after a misfortune invasion of Bar Neron. Those fools who ousted me from my post there will one day pay. But now I have gained a new power and await Sauron's call. We will rise from the darkness and take Gondor by surprise. You worthless scum are all that stand in my way. For that, you will surely burn. I'll burn you all down. So I think that's the cue to uh, get away from him. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh no! No! Not a s- uh, okay. Ah, uh, I'll meet you back here. Okay, so if you take a look, it says the ceiling collapse incapacitated you, and I did notice things falling from the ceiling, so... I have to be a little bit more careful. I might fight him behind the pillar. What gives you the right to enter the keep of the Underhost? I'm not gonna read all that again. I'm gonna try to time this so that I can actually catch it this time. Oh, weird. I could actually, like, fight him, but... Got that exaltation of battle. I'll take it. I will not fail the Dark Lord. Oh, I got a fear. The Underhost shall be victorious. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Nice. A mysterious ranger st stands near the gate. Ah, that was a little tense. That was a little tense. Worked out though. Got him. Very exciting. Open this up. Okay, good. Got some good stuff. And then there is the mysterious ranger. The ranger suddenly dashes away into the dark of the tunnels. Deliver the note to Moblong and tell him of the mysterious ranger. All right, so how do I get out of here? Do I just right-click leave instance? To me, it always feels wrong to do that. To do the right-click leave instance thing. But I think that's what I have to do. Yeah, I think that's what I got to do. So let me just do that. The quest is complete. So... Yeah, I'm sorry guys. I know it's sloppy. I'm trying my best. I know I'm not the best warden, okay? I will get better. I will get better, especially when I max out my level. I promise. The Borgold host must be defeated. The tidings you bear disturb me, Kippen. The letter you bear mentions that terrible wraith thrust a blade into his chest, but that he did not die. Only his body began to wither. It then reads only of a man succumbing to madness, and I fear his mind can only have grown more twisted since its writing. 
For Faramir to come to such an end would be devastating, and I fear that we must uncover this man's identity before our search can continue elsewhere. There are many ways out of these tunnels, but his flight cannot have taken him far from the culverts. Ithilien is crawling with foes. You have told me much of this strange man, Kippen, but most troubling is your description of his clothing. By your account, he bears the cloak that belonged to none other than our Captain Faramir. If this man is Faramir, our cause is lost, and we should forge a new strategy to escape the city before dawn. However, if he is not, who would be so bold as to take up the mantle beyond his standing and to elude the aid of his brethren? Search the southern ways of the city on both shores of the Anduin, for his path would lead him either to the camps of the Haradrim or the ruins of the armory across the Orcish bridge rafts. Track him and capture him if you must or we must learn his identity. So it looks like that between the instances, there's like a couple quests. And so it's not really worth it for me to just do one episode for the whole quest. So I'm gonna go do the quest right now. A Little bit of a longer episode, a little bit of extra beyond just the instance. Let's go. You know, maybe I'm being a little hard on myself. That is a small fellowship instance after all, and I did solo it even though it was eight levels below me. I guess I can't be too hard on myself. I did take too many deaths though. I don't know. It just feels to me like I'm playing like an amateur. It feels sloppy. I don't like it. I'm not satisfied with my performance. Okay. So let me... Yeah, let me head down. Yeah, so these episodes, I guess, will probably be a little longer overall. Just because I'm going to have to do some interlude quests in between the instances. But like I said, there's no point in doing an episode just to do this quest, you know? That makes no sense. Gonna go all the way to the south. Uh, let me see. What's a good way to get there? Maybe through here. No, this is not a good way to get there. Because they're all on this side for the most part. Oh, my little tome of speed here ran out. There you go. I am glad I'm not having to stop and fight every single one of these monsters, though. Since I am overleveled. That is nice. Just because there are so many of them here. So there's a tarnished necklace. You examine the necklace, the ranger dashes up a nearby staircase. Okay, so I guess I don't have to follow him, I just need to go to the next little quest ring. Which is... A little to the east here. Crack shield. As you examine the shield, the ranger darts out beneath the broken bridge and flees. There he is. Okay, and then there's one more on that side. Ah. Uh. Let's do that. Well, it looks like I should have gone that way. No! I thought I could make that little jump. Oh, and the water's dangerous. Okay, let me... Yeah, my HP is nicely recovered here. Let me book it to these stairs. All right, we're good. We're good.
broken horn on that other side. As you examine the horn, the ranger appears and dashes across the nearby bridge rafts. There he goes. So I gotta return to Moblong. Where's he at? At the culvert, of course. Fast forward, begin. This man bears a grave wound and yet eludes us at every turn. What force could empower a man so? We must hasten our search and work to corner this man, be he friend or turn foe. The Mughal house must be defeated. Well, I'll leave to read this for the next one because in the next one we're going to do the next instance. So I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to the next one. Hope you are as well. Leave a like on the video. See you next time. Thanks for stopping by the Renaissance Gaming Monastery. I hope you join our community on Discord and Twitter. These videos are produced with a lot of hard work and love. If you think they're worth a dollar, I'd be grateful for your contribution. You can send a thanks donation or become a member on YouTube. You can also support through PayPal, Patreon, or even with cryptocurrency. All links are in the description. See you on the next video.